your entrance and will come. You will receive the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you, and you will be my witnesses even to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we offer the sacrifice of the Eucharist for the intentions of our Mother's Day Novena. And as we gather in God's presence, let us call to mind our sins, so that we may worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard of the Holy There is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, and when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and there for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. A snake is driven away, so are they driven as wax melts before the fire. But the just rejoice and exult in God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, who, whose name is I Am. Sing to God, the Father of orphans and the Defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Strength is God's kingdom of Gospel according to John. Glory 
Glory to the Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The victory over Christ and death, his conquering of the world, is experienced by us in the waters of baptism, where we die in Christ and rise to new life. We conquer the world in Christ in the waters of baptism. And that mystery is described beautifully in our first reading, where a contrast between the baptism of John and the baptism of Christ is given. See, these two baptisms, as Paul expresses, are not one and the same. John's ministry truly was from heaven, but as the prophecy of Zechariah's father says in the Gospel of Luke, that his ministry was to prepare the way, to give knowledge of salvation to God's people for the forgiveness of their sins. In other words, his baptism, the washing that he gave, was a prelude to the Messiah and as such a forgiveness of sins. But the baptism Christ gives is not just for the forgiveness or the cleansing of sins. It is for the sake of adoption, to make us children of God, to give us a divine status, co-heirs with Christ. And so great is our dignity. And that is why it's, all the, it's, it's so important to emphasize this distinction, that in Christ we are not merely forgiven. We are divinized, we are made one with God, we are exalted in Him, given a seat with Him on the throne of the Father. As Jesus Himself says, I will give the victor the right to sit on my throne with me and my Father. And we also beautifully see how confirmation is inseparable from baptism. Because what does Paul do immediately after baptizing them? He lays hands and invokes the Holy Spirit. And so let this today be a moment of renewal for us of our baptism and confirmation as we partake of the body of the Lord in the Eucharist. To our Jesus who has conquered the world and enabled us to experience that in our baptism, be the power and the glory now and forever. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, may the Lord raise up those who will dedicate their lives to serving the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, to be our For those who dispense justice, may the compassionate love of Jesus create in them a mind and heart that tempers justice with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, to be our for those gripped by fear or anxiety, may the peace of Christ give rest to their minds and hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, see our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may God's grace be with us as we aim to be the hands and feet of Jesus in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, see our prayer. For all who have died, may they rest in the peace of Christ in heaven. And let us remember in a special way the Mothers in the Mother's Day Novena. Let the intention of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, see our prayer. For our own personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, see our prayer. God, our Father, through the holy mysteries, you have given us new life in Christ. Receive our prayers upon your heavenly altar, for we offer them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice and excite this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity, and cleanse me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable before God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from our high through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We meet them among the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all of his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Those are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Those are in the So that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The communion and the fire. I will not leave you often, says the Lord. I will come to you and again, and your heart will be joy. And that comes spiritual communion for those at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Lord. Body of Body of Body of But as past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart that what
as we give it to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you and be humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by thy God, cast into the hell of Satan and all the evil spirits who crowd God the world, seek 